seconds. Just to make sure. There we go, you're alive. Okay. And on time today. That's actually impressive. My phone just changed the clock to 11. Um, so, good to know. So, the plan is to continue on this adventure here today. I'm just let people join the stream if anyone wants to join before I start uh, totally, completely. And where the hell is my cursor? It's there. That's the only problem by having two screens. Sometimes the cursor can disappear from me. Show. But everything seems to be working. Yeah, everything seems to be working. Goody goody. Again, I need to. make this a little um, better but I think I will wait with it till I have uh, figured out more of what I want to place around so and also I don't hope the music in the background is too loud I tried to turn it down a little but it seems to be louder than I expected so <laughs> What else? I think I'm good to go. Yeah. So the thing we want to do today is um, we have I forgot to check up on stuff, some stuff. Um, this way, uh, road here, I want to make that you can't uh, walk onto it. So that's one of the things. Uh, I need to change the sidewalk here. Uh, down here, it was. Not as I wanted it, and there we go. Much better. <laughs> um, I wanted the sidewalk to go out of map, so it doesn't stop stuck here. That looked weird. Um, so now that that is done, and we have the park up here, and sorry, and then we just mark these as. Um, so my character can't walk onto it um, for a moment. Um, I still haven't figured out how these work. actually they need to be free. You know, don't think about it because we use two over here at the pond. Um, and the reason why is I want something to swim around in that water, uh, but make sure that they can't get up on land and walk around. So that's why. So there we go. The only time it's been possible to go out here is when we trigger the event later um, in the programming section of this uh, because right now we actually are able to walk out on that sidewalk so if we just take a test here I still haven't changed the music but I, did I turn down the sound or will it be blasted? We will be blasted but yeah as you can see right now we can just go over here I don't want to be possible. It should be stopped right there if you try. So, but that is something I have to figure out for the next stream. <laughs> so, but else everything here seems to be working. Um, also, I finally did figure out to change stuff around. So, I don't know if you saw, but when you go to save. It actually says the name of the area I'm in now. So, um, I made a script for that, So, but I can talk about that uh, in a second. Actually, I can show it off right now. Um, if I go here, I made uh, this little plugin. Um, I was checking up on stuff. Um, what is it called? I was checking up on stuff um, of how to code um, uh, a bit of Yana. And how it works in this program so i found out that if you have plugin description then when you go to plugins here uh, the description is this thing up here and 
the author is who had made the plugin, so that's me right now. <laughs> so I just put in my own name. And uh, help is uh, the help information here, but uh, I saw that other programs that had the help description uh, talked about the parameters over here, but there's no parameters at all. Uh, so I just uh, put in this in this uh, description that shows the name of the map on the save load screen. Um, I'm not sure if it's, it's the map or it's the name uh, name of uh, we give it. Um, if I go, oops, I have to close this all down um, and edit. Um, I don't know if it's this name over here or uh, this play name. I find out to take. Um, in this one, I think it's the map name. Um, that is uh, actually the display name. Sorry, the display name. I'm pretty sure that's what uh, the one I'm taking. Uh, it should be uh, by my code at least. So, but since my display name and my map name is basically the same, um, then it should be fine. Um, I hope. We will figure it out. If it suddenly doesn't work as intended, I will do into changing it around. Uh, but yeah, this code here um, clearly just take. Actually, it's only this code you need. This one is just so I could put the uh, who had made the uh, plugin. Um, but this code here should be the one that actually takes the name uh, and make the say screen work as it does now. So that is a little cool thing. <laughs> But I made it in my own time, so I didn't have to read up on the stuff uh, on the, doing the stream. Uh, because I want the stream to be more work-related than me having to figure out stuff. So, what we have to do today is actually we have to make it possible to go to school. I want uh, people to be going up here. Uh, one thing I haven't checked is actually I want to do that now. So we go to eventing. Uh, new event. Actor. Now we just take an actor. If we don't need to make the one we need, uh, I'll just take this one. And then uh, we make a custom road. Um, can you make it just go up automatically? Um, I'm not that used to doing this, but if I just Say move up, uh, repeat movement, skip the kind of move. That that will never happen if it only moves up. So, and it has to be a parallel. Actually, now that I think about it, skip the kind of move. If our character goes uh, in front, then it will skip. I just try to move up again. <laughs> but that's my plan. So, right now this character should just. Be moving up with. I'll just test it. Did I place it to down? Okay. I'll just quickly say so I don't have to go all the way here. But I did. Um, I did a, a, a one run here. Move out. Oh, move down. Move up, of course. go and I want the speed to be normal and frequency normal okay let's test this okay <laughs> maybe frequency should be higher can they go outside the map is the question nope I want them to be able to do that so frequency high uh, this one, can I get a description of what this does? Is it possible to move through impossible tiles and characters? So right now she can actually move through me too, but um, I will just test if this lady is able to go outside the map. Frequency should still be higher. They can still not leave the map though. Okay, so that is what it is. 
highest. So how can we make an event of leaf screen? Um, is the Christian right now? Is it possible? That is a thing I should probably have checked up on. Um, any ideas, guys? Help? Uh. Oh, this is something I have to check in my own time again because, again, I don't want to use time on it if it's not. Important, of course, it is important, but um, it's less important than everything else. So, um, I have no clue if I can do that. <sighs> it's the same problem I had with the pigeon in my previous attempts to do stuff. I will just cancel that. Um, okay. Uh, I will just place you all the way down here. There we go. So these are the people I want to go to school. Uh, everyone should have this more or less same um, pattern and speed. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that doesn't work. I really wanted to go off screen. Okay, I will. I will. I will look at that in another time. Then, uh, then we will not add them right now. Again, they are not important for the experience of what I'm doing. Okay, so what we have now is we need up here. Uh, these three tiles. Actually, only those two because you will not be able to hit that tile now that I think about it. Uh, because of the land post, you can't go this way. So these two tiles here, we have to we go to a new map. So. Uh, we're making a new map here that is called Little Town Little Town School. There we go, and it is an outside map. I'll just keep this to twenty five twenty five. Um, and everything else seems okay. So let's see what we can figure out today to this map here. Uh, what I want is actually I want uh, your char my character to come from uh, this side over here. Uh, now that we get into the school, uh, and I actually think I. Gave it the wrong map. Edit. Uh, we need outside this one. And. Then we can work with this. So I want the road to go there. And the sidewalk. Here. And then we need a wall. That is not a, <laughs> a nice wall. I think I would use this one maybe. This. Um. 
I actually don't think that it's in the middle at all. This is. So I want this to be the entrance to the school. Um, I actually need something top of the wall. Um, can I walk on that? Is actually the first thing I want to check out. So if we go here, uh, we have to do some eventing. Uh, transfer. I want that just to transfer there, so. Uh, then we look left. And I will do the same with this one. Uh, since we uh, go into another map, I don't want to make too much out of it, so. Now we can just test this one. Okay, so let's go up here. We now are here. Can I walk on this? I can't. That's good. Uh, I just need a top for that wall then. And as I was talking about before, let's see, save. It's now called Little Town School. So, that's pretty neat. Okay. Yo, let's see. It was this one. Um, what can we use for the top of the wall? How does this look? But you will be able to walk on that, I think. Um, I'll just test it afterwards. If you can walk on it or not. But I really like these tiles here, so... Why do I keep doing it this stupid way when I do this? Okay, let's test. I want to know what you can walk on and what you can't. Okay, I can't walk on these. Can I walk? Okay, I can't walk on that too. So that's actually... That's a good wall. And it's a fine uh, size for the entrance. So... That is good. So what we need now is uh, the school building itself. Um, do I have some tiles that looks nice? Let's uh, make the school building off. Oh god. God, god, god. No, 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 no. Okay, I think I will use these tiles for the school building. So I don't want the school building to be too far off, so I actually think uh, this should be the size of it. So yeah, now we have to move everything up. So let's see, can I get all of this? And then one, two, how much in? Two, three. One, two, three. So that should be there. And then the three down there should just disappear. So height. One, two, three. There we go. And now we have to go to this one. Because these are wrong now. Uh, can I just delete these two? And then new, not new. Uh, quick transfer. We have to look left. And of course, I forgot. I don't want this sound effect though. Get it. I want this to be there. And copy and paste it. So, now we get to this area here. I'm coming here. So, 
So, next off. We have to put in items. So, we can start off by putting some lampposts. So, one there, one, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> Okay, this is not the middle at all. Okay, how big is this map? It's 24, so don't even have a middle. A little irritating. Okay, just remove this uh, for a sec. There we go. So now they are evenly spaced, which is important for me. And then we have the way up to the school. Uh, didn't we have, um, if remember vaguely a fence, or is it just me? just looks wrong when I do this, yeah. Nope. Nope. Um, just look like there is a fence. Like I want. This is stairs, isn't it? Yeah. Looking for whoops. Bye bye land post. There you go. So the only kind of fence we have is this. I wanted one of these big um, iron gates um, that actually is in front of the schools. I could use this one, but that looks too, just really fancy. Why is it just me? That and also really big. If it is, then it should not be higher than this. Uh, but that looks too fancy, I think. So I will not have that for now. So let's see, what else do we have? Do we have any garden things? I'm pretty sure this should be because there are planted there are these. Or maybe I should not put a plant button thinking of. Let's go up a little. Then have uh, something like this, maybe. Uh, this is just not working as intended. Uh, something like this. Remove 
the shadow. There we go. And then we can place some trees. Oh god, the trees is one tile. I totally forgot about that. So I need to make these bigger and that's again don't want shadows. And Something like that. That looks fine, I guess. Do we have anything else we can place? Okay, that looks fine, I guess. Don't know why these are in two pairs, but I think I'll place them like this and then we need the entrance to the school that looks weird um, don't have what kind of door do we actually need um can I new not new Quick event door? What kind of doors do we have? Because these doors are small. It looks like every doors. Okay, we have some big doors too, but I don't know if those are what we're looking for. Correct. Um, Yeah, we'll just take this one then. Okay. I'm curious, how does that actually look? Okay. Why well, I'm standing on the road. Alright. It's not the middle. Actually, this. It's the middle from here. These are. Oh god, this one is wrong. Yeah. Um, let me just borrow everything here and put it there. I don't know if this looks like a school at all. Maybe if I do like this instead, it looks a little better. 
I still wish I had a better door, but um, I will make do what I have. Um, and then we just need a clock. <laughs> well, there's a clock. Just a little, not really nice one. I wish they had not uh, placed it on top of... Uh, oh, we actually have one there. There we go, that looks better. Ish. Yeah, I think this will do for outside the school. Um, I really wish I had uh, a sign. Let's see, is there some kind of sign I can use from in here? Um, or else we have to make one down the road. That is not what I'm looking for. Why is it? Why is there so much white space down there? Uh, this is the doors. I have gates. It seems fences and gates. Mm -hmm. Why didn't I get some of these when I was uh, in the sci-fi? Or maybe I did because, but I didn't want to because they were small. Yeah, that's probably why. But it doesn't really seem like they have any um, signs at all. Oh, actually, they have, but I don't want a neon sign. I just wanted an old time. Boring run. So that is one thing we have to make um, ourselves apparently. So and again, I want to fill this area here with NPCs too, but um, that will have to wait a little. <laughs> so now we just have to make a new map again. This time an inside. And again, I will just do it 25 by 25 because that's a resolution I like to work with. Um, and I forgot to name it, so <laughs> edit. There. Town. Little town school first roll. Oh god, that was a lot. <laughs> there we go. And now that we are inside the school, um, I want the inside of the school just to be an event. Um, I don't want you to be able actually to do anything in here, so I'll place an event up here and tell what to do. Uh, and that also reminds me that... <sighs> People are talking to me, sorry. So one of our friends apparently got a shiny, <laughs> a, 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 her first shiny um, uh, Mr. Miami Pokemon Go, so that's impressive. <laughs> I'm a little jelly, just a little. <clears throat> but um, we have to <laughs> work on what we're doing here, so uh, now that we're inside the school, we have um, to make um, the flooring first. So. This is a wall. Also, it didn't look nice at all. So, what kind of floor could we think of to give in the inside school? I have never been in a Japanese school, so I have no clue what kind of floor they actually have. I can't think of they having anything um, pretty, so I don't know if this is too fancy or what. Um. 
So, uh, but I will work with this, I think. Or is it too hard on the eyes? I don't know. Um, again, this map doesn't need to be as big, though. Um, first off, let's see. We need the wall. But not that kind of wall. I think I will take... Again, I will just take a wall that looks bland. There's no reason to have fence wall um, in here, so... I'll just make it a little higher though, like this. Uh, then we have the walkway. Um, then we need... I actually don't need any of all of these stuff here. Uh, for this area. Uh, do they have... I really wish they had um, that... Um, what is it called? Is this one? Yeah, this is actually what I'm looking for. I don't know if they actually have windows like that in the schools, but in my have feeling they have. And then we go to the vending. New, not new. I want a door. I, I, I like to have that the quick vending system down here. So you can actually place a door really fast. This map just have one. I have to really remove a lot of down here. Um, let's see. Edit. Fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six. I still have to remove six late. Um, six tiles. There we go. So. Now that we have that, we can go in here and... Do something like that. And, of course, copy. Paste the door over. So, that is as it should be. And then, go here. This one. Then we figure out this. I also want you to take me inside and place me here. Okay, let's test it. Let's see what's happened. Why did I save down here? Okay, let's save here. So, and then place there. Goody. Still, I want you to be facing that way when you get in. And then you get up here and in. So, that is my plan right now. So, first off, we have to edit um, this one, uh, and we have to face right, there. So, and when we get to this, I wanted to change to a cutscene. So, first off, we have to make an event, and that is an to play of course uh, what this event has to do is take our character from here 
I'll go up. So new set move route. Uh, like we start there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So. And then up and up. Okay, I have no clue what happens when our character hit this one now. Um, if it actually activates the door automatically or that is something we have to do. So continue. Let's try it out. Okay, um, we can't actually activate that, it seems, uh, when we hit it. It's a play touch, what if we say event touch instead? Do we count as an event? That is the question. Nope, it doesn't count as an event either. Okay, this is a thing I have to figure out too at some point. Um, but right now, I actually want to do another thing. That is, go in here, go to common events. Uh, phone is one I keep there, and then I have one that called. That we call cutscenes. This one should be a parallel that activates when No actually it should not be It just should run when I call it, nothing else. Can I do that? Um New Um we can just test it to begin with, so Where do we have um, character picture that screen? There we go. Tint, I think, is the one I'm looking for. Um, this is just to test, so minus. 50. Actually, I'll do it minus 100 instead. Just to be sure that it works as intended. Okay, when I call this, then this happens. But only when I call it. So if we go here, new, um, and then we have to find call common event there. The question is, does the common event just work once and then stop? So we know how it's supposed to look in here, so it looks darker. So that's good. Not that I want it to be darker when um, I go in here. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that it worked. 
but that also means that I have to have a co not a common event here. Um, edit. Uh, so if you make a number three, that is. So this one should just be zero because I want it to be as that from the beginning. And then we have this and a screen, it's screen, and then it's just normal again afterwards. Afterwards, still zero, and don't wait for anything. Oh, they actually have presets. That is kind of neat. Um, how does um, this one's just normal? Edit. I actually like um, this one. How does this look when you start? I don't think it can end this because my move route is still fucked up. So this is like a movie cutscene. I actually think I will take this to the cutscenes uh, when I do cutscenes. Um, another thing I really want is new. I don't think I could do it yet, but my plan is to um, um, show picture. The problem is I don't have any pictures down here. But I think I'll make a black bars on top of the button of the screen. Uh, when you start a cutscene also. And I'm also thinking of taking a new here and a screen fade in. And down here, then we have a fade out. With this one, please. And new fade in. I actually need a f um, up here. Uh, new fade out fitting. I have no clue how that works right now because. Uh, right now, uh, this whole deal here starts when we enter the school. Yeah, so we have to change some stuff around still. Uh, mostly because this color change here happens in one frame, first off. Um, I think I will set it to 10, wait, and the same for this, set it between the two fades, and edit, 10 frames, wait. There we go. So now it should work. More or less. Seems fine. Um, and then we just have to make it more cinematic. Uh, again, cinematic is always a good thing, so... But we're only working with this. We have to move around for our character first off. And we have the cutscene and edit. Oh, I forgot to um, in here cutscene. I'll call this cutscene start and. 
got hit. And so now I know what is what. <laughs> okay. So now all we have to work with is in here. Uh, to begin with, so we have the wood route up there too. Um, then we have we need this door to activate when you hit it. Um, I think I will remove this one. And then we have this one to play at a certain time. So if we can get something to say that it has to play, um, then we have a parallel opposite to. Uh, and this one has to start when uh, it's nothing these. I think we need to make a switch for it then. So we just need make an event that's called door for now. So let's edit this one. We need to move one up. Then here, new. And then control switch. Set door to on. And when that happens, then this one should play. Uh, and if not, then nothing of these. And after all this new... Um, control switch... Dolf. Okay, let's see if this works. I have no clue if it does or not, so it's a test. Well, it didn't seem like the door worked as intended. This is enough to run. Okay, we need new um, control cell switch. A is on. New page. Cell switch A on. Super. I don't need it to play twice, so. <laughs> Just have to make sure that everything can work. And so this works. I walk down the hallway. Get to that place, but I can't. The door does not activate. Maybe it's actually set it to an auto run when it's get activated. Why is it not uh, activating? It is, why is this set to phone still though? It has to be door. Is this one wrong too then? So this one says door to on, so that's correct. Uh, 
I need stuff like this. The door does still not work. You though I give it the command to do. If this one run this. Why is it not working? Is the question right now? Just test the thing. If it actually works after um, it has been activated. So when I go in here, then everything should be until I get down there. This one should now be activated. So it should be. The door does not work. Is it because oh maybe I think actually I know what the problem is. Does it work now? <laughs> this is a lot of testing. <laughs> this works. I go all the way over here. The door still not work. Does this all work? Just to check. That work. Not supposed to be because this one looks weird if there's supposed to be a hole in the wall where I can go through what did I actually use over here Sometimes, because nothing really works as I want it to. Okay, I just want to test something. Uh, if this door works now that I don't have a hole in the wall. Because if this don't work, then I know that this door still works. I still wish I could use this one. It's, it does that. I don't like that. I can only use these for some reason. But what we know is that something is wrong here. I can't activate this at all. Even though this one sets it to on down here. Oof. 
preset to on. Uh, so I need to do it another way. If I even want to do it like that, maybe I can just copy paste. Uh, I think why do it a stupid way when I can just make it easy on myself. I did do something like this instead. Uh, it still has to fix this one. The fade in that is fine. I just need when you get to this place. Uh, maybe if I knew, and then um, tint screen. I just just set it to. black here instantly like this because then I hope when you get in it um, it plays so that yeah like that that exactly was my plan okay so now we have that so the next part I want to see if I can do is new and then screen can I uh, video uh, is there can I change so I can move the camera independently is my question right now uh, maybe it's under map or something like that. Uh, map name, change title, change battle, background, change power and action, no battle, system. Uh, don't tell me I can't do that. None of them I need. Okay, movement transfer player, city build location, city build location, scroll map is what I need. That was what the one. Set it to 25, then it moves a little faster than our character. A little further. I hope. I have no clue if this is gonna work or not. Uh, I don't know if it just moved the camera, like, shroom, or what's going to happen. Uh, 
Yeah, that didn't work. Oh. I, I really need to figure out how it works. Because I wanted to move while my character is moving. Now it just follows the character, so... Character takes 18 steps if I'm not mistaken, so they should be working. Then we don't fly away from our character. Okay, I will copy paste from there to there. Apparently, I have to copy paste from there to there. area between the door and the classroom. I have to do this, this and this. Okay. Then if I go here, mark all these and then just swift them a little. this I think just so that we don't start with a classroom uh, right up the wall so I think this would look better okay so now we just have to make sure that the camera moves as many steps as our character move so continue try again let's go in Okay, that didn't sound, uh, seem right. How do I know? So she takes 18 steps. If this is moving at half speed, then nine? I guess I'll just test this to see if this seems right. Um, okay, <laughs> you too. <laughs> Stops a little too early. So I need this and my characters to stop at the same time, so it seems right. Let's try this one. It seems like my character is taking two to three st steps more than this one is giving me. Okay, 
This is not an easy one to work with. I don't get this. For some reason, the camera stops before my character and then continues afterwards. Uh, what if I edit this one and set wait for completion to turn off? Then take uh, this one, set it down here, um, new. See, that's where I hate that I have um, this set move route. Can I actually set this to this uh, on the camera? Mm. I really wish they had made a better way to work with the camera. Because right now we just jumps to this. And also I wish I could start with the camera and another place in on my character. So I can't take just And change the direction at the beginning. I have to follow something, which is kind of stupid. But it, of course, it's a scroll map. Do I have other ways to change? Uh, Scroll the map without changing the player's location, use only on the map screen. Uh, change the current location of a specific event, cannot move. That is only events. Um. Or else I could cheat. could actually cheat um, and what I mean by this is uh, instead of having this remove that uh, then when we go into cutscenes um, like this I can don't know if I should do it here or if I should do it some other way. Uh, I think I will do it here. So when the screen is fitted out, then uh, new, um, and then we need to find. Over here, I think it is change transparency on. So now my character is gone. The first off, it needs to be down here. No, actually, it was right. No, oh, it has to be there. That's right. Uh, except this one has to be off. Here, it has to be with wrong button. We try that again. Okay, down here. 
new transparency off because my character needs to become seeable but it has to be after this yeah it has to be before and edit on okay so now my character should actually be not visible at all let's see they're not cheating Then when my character walked, the screen is scrolling, and my character reappeared there. So that's a good start, because what we're doing now is we are making an event. New, and this actor will be. Also, actually, one other thing I want to do is new and set move route. It was over here. Actually, I think I could do it other way. How can I? Uh, is there one that's called um, actor or something like that? I can do it that way. Uh. Yeah, I have to do it like this. But um, then we can say tough on, no reason to wait for move completion. And copy, paste. And here, why did you take the transparency? That's what I think it was. This one I wanted. Oops. Please do what I want. This one inside this. Edit, and this one now will be tough off. Actually, this has to be tough on. No, that is right. I'm not doing anything wrong here. I mean, it is. Edit. This one. <sighs> not direction. Top of off. There we go. Okay. So, and now we have 18 frames to work with this one. So. Custom set route. And there it goes. So now I just to walk eighteen, and it should have this run, but it should not go as fast as my character. So let's see if it works. Now I'm just cheating. So. <laughs> But it seems like being the only way to actually fix the problem I have. Because the ca camera is fixed on my character. So as you can see, and there... Well, she never stops walking, of course. There we go. But I actually want her to be non speed. And we have to work with my character now, so just run edit. Up here, sit change speed. 
two, three. And then we change the speed again here, back to normal. Okay. I hate working with cutscenes, but I really want to make them because it makes the game look a little better. Okay, why were I so... Okay. When my character gets teleported in, where do I start? Let's change that to begin with. Okay, if I can start around here or something like that. Okay, how does this look now? Because I was not walking fast enough to uh, follow the other character. Okay, so that's a good start. Um, I still need to be one step further ahead. Okay, and back to this. Then we have you. Can you start here? Let's see, how does this look? Okay, um, I think my location should be edited a little still. To around here. Uh, okay, okay. So, how now? Uh, okay, we still have a problem. Um, let's test this. I think I can only, uh, I can actually do it like this. Well, if I do it like this, apparently my school doesn't show up. What if I... <laughs> Test it from here. What happens? <laughs> Okay, um, I want to try to edit this. I should be out of focus of the camera here. So it seems like um, when I go into the school building, I start not start walking um, from the beginning. Yeah, it does not start as soon as I enter. Also, I'm really curious. I just need to check something here. Uh, how many steps away from the edge can I do? Okay, so... This is the edge, so one... Before I move it, so... One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one more, and I confused. Uh, 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the map moves. So if I'm more than nine away from the edge, then things move. Okay. This is a good thing to start off by knowing. Edit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And from here, I am way in front of the wall. So everything should move when I start moving from here. What I know of. But again, I have been wrong before, so. Just curious why I have. That little bit of um, time before things move uh, when I get inside. So there must be something here that stops me from moving to begin with. Uh, is it something I have over here, maybe? Is the question. Um, I think, uh, what if I edit this and then give it us, um, what's called? We're going to make a switch right now that's just called, instead of Thor, just called Start Cut, uh, Start Cutscene. Start Cuts. <laughs> Start, cut, okay, like that. So only if this is active, does she start moving? So new, and then conditions, and then we start the cutscene down here. Uh, for her. So she first starts move there. Um, New. And then we can turn off this one down here. Can I switch the routes too? I want it to be there. How does this look? <sighs> I actually think I can change some of the stuff. Um, um, edit. I don't know if I think it's this one actually that does it. If I don't have a weight, it will just do it. And the same with this one, edit. Just do it. How does it look now then? Because I think then I can start the cutscene faster. Why is it that they have the little... a little stop at the beginning for some reason. Which is weird. Uh, edit. There's no way for that one. Edit. There's no way in this. No way. Okay, this one wait for everything to happen. So that is as it's supposed to be. I'll just try to move these two again. Um, can I 
cancel. Okay, there should not be any problems now. Why did it keep on reading black? Oh fuck. Um, I'm an idiot. New common events. Starts. And it, it was the one run I deleted. There we go. Let's try again. Okay. Isn't there any something about um I think I can cheat actually. So how how long is this hallway? Um let's see. It would take from here to here. That actually basically the whole hallway. So, if I... Take a make this down here. And then... Edit. Uh, I'll just cut it down to... 12 to begin with. Let's just see what happens. Okay, two more. And then scroll loop loop vertical should be oh horizontal sorry I'll cancel whatever I'm doing okay does this work because that would actually be pretty neat if it do um, edit my location when I come in, uh, start me there, something like that. Because I think then I can actually loop around when I go when I go in. So I don't have to have the whole pass thing. Okay, more or less works. There are still some problems. Maybe I should make it two classrooms long instead of one. Um, edit. Copy. And copy and paste the door. But then I can actually loop it around when I go in without having to pull on the hallway. And then if we just take you a place here or something. Um, and I have to fix the wall. Because it seems like it has some wall problems. 
Okay, how does this look? Uh, I know I have used a lot of time for this cutscene, but I really want it to be working. Okay, it looks right. I still don't know why uh, I have that window problem. Hope that fixes it. It's weird I have it. It still is there. Why can't you figure it out? And it seems to be the first window that has the problem. Like right there. Why can't you match up with the other one? Is my question. Let's try it like this. That's a kind of irritating actually. And yeah, now the whole wall has that problem. Why is that even a thing? Uh, how to fix that? Because the thing that confuses me about it is... Is it there? Game, stop being a douche. Okay, not what I'm looking for. Because I can see if you do it like that, that it will be there, but. Not when I have it like this, and all the way up to the wall. Because I can't draw on the other side. Unless I should just do it like this, and then have a pillar. Something like this, to cheat it. Also to give a little life to the area. Yeah, I think I will do it like that. And then... In shadows all the way. Just that it actually looks like the pillar is there. Okay, I think I'll do this. The next thing we have to figure out is make sure that me and uh, the, the wrong me is moving at the same pace. Or not the same pace, but moving. First off, I want you to make I want to make sure that she's not in the picture when I start moving. So first off, let's go here. Fix this one one. Hopefully one last time. Okay, if I start here. And she starts here. And I don't think me and her will be 
on the screen at the same time when I get in. Then we're gonna fix me. So I'm moving 18 steps, but 18 is a really long time. So I think I will move eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, my phone is ringing, so I will be wait wait just a second.
Okay, I am back again. I just have to press some of these buttons here to make sure you can see things again. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> so, sorry about that. That was just my phone. Somebody wanted to talk to me. And um, for some stupid reason, I haven't made this setup very good to actually go um, from streaming to actually be able to <laughs> turn off sound and such and turn over to. Um, away screen so I will just fix it so now I should be able to do it faster so because I didn't even get my phone before it stopped um, ringing so okay but uh, we fixed this one here so let's try it out one more time Okay, it almost matches up. Um, so that is good. This is fine. I think I'll give. Her, what was the problem? Uh, was the problem actually that I took too many steps, or did she, uh, the other avatar, walk, uh, stop walking before the camera's moving stopped? I think we have to check now. Okay, this stops before my camera. Uh, so it's actually this one I have to work with. We will free more. Um, and I think of moving her back one because it comes into uh, interview faster than I think that I want her. more or less the same now actually it should be easy to figure out how many steps does he take One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So she takes eighteen. Look by normal speed and this. Alright, if I take the same amount of steps, but in uh, yeah, that's that's me that's an idiot here. So that is correct. I was just thinking, but if I take 18 but in speed 3, then we should take the same amount of steps, but we don't, because my character is taking them slower, uh, and I actually don't know if it is it's two times slower. It says. I'm not sure that is right, uh, that this is two times slower than normal speed, because we have set how many steps right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We only take seven, and that is not half 18. I can't, I, I can't my math. So actually, I should be edit. So unless we should be moving exactly the same amount of steps right now. I don't know if she starts before me though. That's the problem. Yes, she probably does. So I think I only take one more step than her. So edit, if I remove one, then it actually is half and half, it's just weird half and half, because it starts one step before me, I think. V 
feels like I take one more step than her still. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So she starts two frames before me uh, with walking, I guess. More or less. Uh, I think if I edit this and put one right in on me and then take and edit her and route and then all the way to the top here and sit in a weight. Now I have the problem. It's this is 16 second, uh, 16 frames a second. So, but I don't know how much one move is taking. So if I make a wait, 20 frames. How does that look then? We actually stops right at the same time. Okay, so one move, this should be one tenth of a second. So six move is one second. So this matches up perfectly. So if I edit her now, route, and give her one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Which means my character up here, edit. Edit. So. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we should stop at the same time again. And we do that. Um, my plan is I want her to go all the way across the screen. Um, before she stops and I stop. So. This is some testing again. It takes some time, sadly. Oh, we are almost there. We need like, I think four more steps could do it. Perfect. Okay, now we get to the next part. Can I? Well, this is going on. Edit. Because um, now I am thinking. <laughs> A little too much, I think. Because I don't think I can do that. Um, my plan is to have text on the screen uh, while I'm walking. Uh, 
but the, but because this one is set to a weight, uh, then it doesn't jump to anything down here at all. Uh, so it waits until all of this has happened. So if I edit this now and then say, uh, don't wait anymore, then it will just jump straight down here now. So if I make a new one, um, show text, I want this to be in the middle and the window transparent. And then I'm thinking of, um, what is the code again for this? Six bigger, change the six size by one step. Okay. So like this, and another day is cool. I really wish I could center it. Also, can you actually Doesn't seem that way. Bad injury. I don't know what that does. Um, what happens if I do it like this? I'm just checking out stuff. Yeah, you still have to press the button. Uh, that's the thing I want to make sure I don't have to do. So Uh, do not wait for input after this plain text. Uh, what does that mean? Um, I have no clue what half of these commands do, so... Is that just that made it disappear? Yeah, okay. So I think that is a thing I need uh, to do. Edit. So I need to have, where is it, there, I need something like this. Does this do what I think it does? <laughs> Is the question. Yeah, it just shuts it off. Okay, so that means I can work with that. It is.
what does this look? The sad thing is I can't do it separately. Another day school. The same old school. Well, hello there. <laughs> that was not part of my plan. Said, uh, transfer player. No, I can't, of course, not transfer, but let's just for now we just transfer outside. Uh, but I want the player to be transferred into a classroom or something like that. thing it doesn't do is actually change my speed back to normal. Hello! <laughs> okay. So, what no we know right now is that This one doesn't go all the way to the end. Which is fine by me actually. Edit. Okay. I just want to make sure that after I got transferred that I don't take any steps. Okay, still take one step. That works for now. So I don't know how the classroom is named actually, so but we do it like this. And let's do this. Uh, then we go over here. not here. Here. And we find the clock again. Where was it? This screen instead, I can't remember. I was pretty sure where she is somewhere. Or maybe because this is inside, then. 
Everything is wonky. Don't you have a clock? That I can use. Well, they have a clock, but that's a grandfather's clock. Not even a grandfather. It's a small one. Mm, apparently not. That's irritating. Again, they don't really have what I need. Look at what that is. Seems fine, then we need chairs. Whoops. We just need people, so I know I'm copy pasting a lot of people right now. Um, my plan is sorry if I was silent, actually, I wasn't thinking about that. But uh, I will probably change some of this out um, down the road. That, that was a hero. There we go. Actually, it's this one I need. I'm probably taking the wrong one for this one too now. Because it's the center one that is actually standing still. That here is delete everything. Except for our own character, of course. This one, change it to 
this picture. There we go. Okay, so when this event here is come to this, um, then we're going to edit, and then it has to froze over here. Uh, sorry, my phone's ringing again. Hold on, mental. Okay, back again. Now my phone should not be ringing anymore. Holy crap. Don't know what happened today. 